With so many unique skins in the game, there are bound to be some exclusive skins for real life company in the near future. I mean, look at Smite. Teams that win the world championships get their own skins on a god of their choosing. There's also some skins, non-team skins in the game. I think Curse has one? It's only a matter of time before the same happens with Paladins. But what if I told you there already is a skin in the game that follows the guidelines above? A skin that directly relates to someone in the real world. What if I told you there's a skin in the game that doesn't relate to a company, that skin relates to a specific person? Finally, what if I told you the skin is related to me directly? Feel confused? Well, let me walk it through with you. But Ninja, don't they announce the skin beforehand or rule it? Who said they didn't? The fun part here is as well, the skin is no longer available. So take a guess, what could it be? Give you a hint, it's to do with my name. But there is a ninja skin in the game, I hear you say. Again, I said my name, my real name. It's Imros for those who don't know, I mean, I'm pretty open about it. Discord and Twitch both show my name. Still confused? Have you seen the gameplay? It's Grover. Well, what does he have on his head? Roses. Yes, the rosebud headwear for Grover is my skin. But that's Valentine's Day, your skin doesn't count. Sure, but you haven't heard the full story yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure you all know by now that I talk to the Paladins team a lot and I've even met some of them. I met Dry Bay in Sweden. He's pretty chill and has looks that could kill. But that still doesn't prove anything. Yes, yes, let me get to the point really quickly. See, it's foolish to bring up anything that happened in DreamHack. I have no proof that the conversation actually happened but they did. So let's stuff that is available to you guys. So here's a picture of me and Dry Bay in Sweden. Secondly, here is Dry Bay, Mick and Harris Holt following me. You can check my Twitter if you don't believe me. I didn't forge this, if you think that. Again, proves nothing, but did you watch the patch notes show on the 3rd of February? <laughs> if Grover uses his ultimate in a forest and no one is around, to hear it doesn't make a sound. You know, I, I was thinking about that, and actually when we were talking about the Valentine's chest, mm -hmm. uh, I think it was you that mentioned yeah. that, that Grover will someday have his companion. Yes. I think that's the only person that would, would, would notice. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and since he doesn't have his, his, his like, Grover lover, yes, right? Grover, Grover lover lady, is, is yeah. around the, the Grady. <laughs> yeah, the Grady. Grady. So there's, there's something there. There's a green male. I don't know. Sylvanas. Um, no, not it's, Sylvanas. It's not Sylvanas. Uh, it's not Sylvanas. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, right? I but mean, it's if, just, you, if you want it. If you, if you want it. Sylvanas it, But it's just, it. that's not, That's you know. right. Yeah, I think that would be the only person. Otherwise, people just don't notice. Gotcha. Yep. <laughs> all right, so that's all we have. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got a question answered in the game, but still doesn't prove anything. Now, listen to this, Dry Bear, before just signing off. Always remember to never give up, never stop gaming, Dry Bear. And? And? and we'll see you all in the round. Look for Grover in the forest. <laughs> Look for Grover in the forest. Honestly, if you haven't picked up on it, this was my bad attempt at making an April Fool's joke. This skin was already planned to be in the game, and of course me talking to Hyra warrant a skin in the game. So yeah, now onto the main topic that I get asked a lot. How do I get skins by Hyra to give away to the community? Well, it's simple, but it's not easy. <laughs> what the hell's that supposed to mean? Okay, what it means is it's relatively straightforward to get them, but the journey to get them is not easy. So, on the patch day when the patch finally goes on the live client, you may have noticed that pro players, esports team, big content creators, and all hirers give skins away. Well, I'm none of them really. I'm not a pro player, but as you all know, I have some superb game skills. I'm not bound to an esports team, but I talk to a lot of them. I'm not a big content creator. Well, I mean, if you look at my 2,000 subs, well, others have upwards of 10,000. Kami, Joshino, Arkrail. And of course, I'm not Hires. So how did I get Hires to send me codes? I mean, if you don't believe me, I'll show you the email Hires sends me every patch. Who sent me this will not be mentioned and some codes will be blurred. And I'll, this is just to show that I do get the codes anyways.
Kinesa. Convinced? Well, let's start. First and foremost, you need to get acknowledged by high res. Like, you need to be on their radar. I admittedly had an easier time as I was, and still am, super active on Discord. Plus, I was like the only spectator in Dreamhack, so it was like super easy for me to get noticed. I mean, it also helps if you have a genuine passion for the game and promote or share ideas that are good. Like, here's an example. I made a video on the esports history just before HRX, and well, you can see the results. Step 2. Get contacted. This part usually takes some time. You have to be known in the community enough to get noticed by high res. Think of it this way, you get the codes to represent paladins. In a way, you're an ambassador for the game. So one of the high res staff will come to you and say, hey, would you be interested in getting codes for giveaway? For this steps, I was contacted by someone who can't be named, so let's refer to them as Good Orange. Third step. This is usually the hardest step. They will send you a form link where you will have to submit lots of personal information your name, age, address, credit card numbers, next of kin, and your account password, etc. They need to profile you and see if you are the right fit for the program. It's a pretty lengthy process and it can take off upwards of two weeks, but you know, it is what it is. This is like one of the harder points and if you get to this point, it's not guaranteed that you will be chosen. I know a bunch of people that weren't chosen because they weren't the right fit for the ambassador program. Now the fourth step. After you've been selected, you're in. All you need to do now is sign a contract with them. What this does is a bunch of things. For starters, you get the code sent to you every patch when they go live. But there's the other things which the community doesn't know about. See, you get invited to a private Discord where a bunch of things happen. Quick note, me telling you this is literally breaking the contract. Okay, you see, this Discord is where all the gameplay changes are made. Yes, every single patch that is pushed live and all of the changes are discussed here first. It's full of high-res employees, pro players, content creators, and everyone I mentioned above. Remember I said the codes are given to pros and teams? Yeah, this is where we all communicate. Not just that, the skin pricings are discussed here too. The annoying thing here is that the group is remade every patch is deployed. So when OB46 goes live, the new group will be made and we have two weeks to talk about it, what to do, what not to do. So because I'm making this video earlier, I don't have the Discord link to a new room yet, so I can't show it off to you. Now, step five, you're in the secret circle. All of the gameplay changes that happen from now, you will have a direct say in it. So if you see anyone giving away skins or anything like that, you know that they are the reason why your favorite champions were nerfed or buffed. And destruction. Our penultimate player today is brought to you by Chef Cuscuti from their delicious noodle bar. The water's bubbling, and he's getting into the swing of things already, throwing out some stunning slithery surprises to lock off angles as the payload approaches a choke point. Always watch your back, however, from behind the cursed arm is invaded with slither. Like Fernando heads off too, but is drenched into danger. They charge for safety. Drogos is greedy. They thrust up to chase, but the airborne reload stun twice in a row collapses them to the ground. Buck and Evie now join the fight. Shield barely saves Fernando, and now it's all on Cus to keep their frontliner alive. Go down, dinner is served. Evie, enjoy the danger noodle soup surprise. Cus Cutie finds the support outplay. Satisfied and satiated, Cus has kept their team alive and now returns to the payload, ever mindful of their allies. Down to Now, if you show some extraordinary proficiency with the champions that is nerfed, you get a higher rating or saying in the next patch balance. So as we all know, Makoa was nerfed this patch with having his ultimate no longer CC immune. So here's my proficiency clip when Makoa got nerfed in OB46 and I will have a great say in OB47. Now, thank you, good orange girl, for being such a sport. I wasn't sure if she would take part in it, but oh boy, I was convinced wrong. Now, thank you all for watching. This was an April Fool's joke, so don't actually fill the form out. I don't want to know your password or credit card information. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this and a lot more. And I will see you all in the realm. I mean, if you don't believe me, I'll show you the email that Hyrus sends me. Who send it will not be mentioned as some codes can be blurred. This is just to prove that I do indeed get the skins. You can talk, you know, I can cut this out. I want to see that email that Hyra sent you.
Please show it to me. I want to see it. Please. I, I don't believe you until I see it. I need to see it to believe it. <laughs>